but now. Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. Now, I wasn't going to pick this up originally. I was going to keep hold of my revolutionary box set version of Jetfire. But with these things becoming harder and harder to get hold of, and only a few Smith stores across the country in the UK now have any stock remaining, I decided to bite the bullet and pay out full price for the damn thing. I did want it on sale, but these things were not going on sale anywhere. The Nanny Smith toys are probably going on sale after they've actually all sold out, just like Soundwave. But that might be for another video. But here he is, Jetfire, the box, obviously fighting some Seekers, helping Mega Supreme battle what looks like to be Megatron down there, defending the launch of the Ark. We can also see the uh, rank unit division logo as well. So what is he? He's an engineer. He's actually air. I thought he'd be space, but he's air. And he's a captain. So this obviously doesn't appear very often. So go again, engineering, air, and captain. Let's save the Ark. Let's get that old picture all folded out. And what does he come with? So obviously this is Skyfire Jetfire as he would appear. These are all the accessories. And this is him kitted out with those accessories in vehicle mode and then kitted out in full armor in rubber mode. General artwork on the side. Well, that's the box. Let's get him open. Okay, so here we have Jetfire out of his box. If you're wondering what tea I'm drinking today, it's a Twinings. So let's get that to the side just there. This is Jetfire all kitted out. He doesn't come all kitted out straight from the box. So I thought I'll put this together and do this quickly now. And that way it's shown off so I can peel him back to show it so you can see the um, standard Jetfire body. Chest here, he's got a nice helmet piece. He's got two guns on the top here, which can be spun. And he's got two cannons at the back, which can be clipped on. That one's obviously clipping off. And two like grenade launchers on his arms with two rifles on the go as well. And he comes with a whole host of blast effects, blast off effects as well. So you've got this one, this one, and this one. Let's just peel off all the bits and bobs on Jetfire here. The Jetfire originally called Skyfire in the original TV series, uh, only really had a handful of appearances. Uh, I believe there were some legal entanglements in regards to some Robotech, I believe. The release of the original figure. Um, now, if I'm honest, I never actually really liked Skyfire's character in the TV series. It's not episodes I grew up with, I only saw them like in later years. So I don't really have much of a connection with the character. Uh, I get the whole Oh, he's a Decepticon, and they turn back, turn to an Autobot. He's literally a Decepticon for like you know, 20 minutes, and he's barely even evil. It's just he's found by the baddies, so he thinks he's a baddie. The like, relationship with Starscream is quite cool, um, but I don't, I don't really like the fact that he's huge. Now, people argue that oh, well, the toy is big. Well, the original toy is about as big as the original Shockwave, and they were advertised together in one advert. But yeah, Shockwave is scaled down in regards to the Transformers universe, whereas Jetfire is kept huge for some reason. Uh, I'm trying to be used as some kind of pseudo-transport, and I, I personally think that never really worked. Same with Astro Train, in a way. Uh, speaking of Astro Train, I'll actually get Astro Train out. Because Astro Train was kind of the answer for Jetfire come series two of the original TV show. It's a nice little there. It's quite cool. It's just like a faceplate. Slots in the front. Let's get Astro Train here. Now, Astro Train is classified as a leader class figure. And in the lore of the show, he is like the Decepticons transport, but he's no bigger than, say, Starscream and Megatron. But he probably should have been scaled up to be as big as Skyfire. In the show, it wouldn't have mattered if the toy was smaller because the scale and the toys in the show was completely off anyway. So I think it would be better if Ashtrain was as big as Jetfire. So he, it would be more understandable that he is some form of troop transport, even though he'd have to be absolutely humongous in order to achieve that function without any internal lore issues <laughs> in the Transformers. So it's a shame that Ashtrain is kept small, yet he's expected to do the same job as uh, Skylynx and Skyfire, or Jetfire is actually known. So that will be keeping mixed up in this video. But there we are, Ashtrain... Yeah, it's a shame, because even in the original Siege TV show, he is depicted much bigger. And if Hasbro were to release a commander-sized Astro Train, I wouldn't complain, as long as it's based on the Generation 1 look. Even if they scared up this toy, 
to be as big as uh, Jetfire here. I'd be all in. I'd pro I might even pick that up. But that said, I, I do like this Astro Train. I just would prefer him to be, say, big, so he could actually be the Decepticon's big guy. I've often mentioned this. The Decepticons don't have what I would call a big guy, not including combiners. I don't include combiners in the whole big guy thing. The, the Autobots have got Jetfire. They've got the Dinobots. They've got Broadside. They have numerous characters which are bigger Autobots, whereas the Decepticons don't have one really not until much later and if you you can include say blackout the helicopter version lugnut and uh, maybe overlord as well but then he's he's a faction leader ish of sorts in his um, japanese series i know later on the idw did something a bit, bit different with um overlord but it's just one of those things that the cons are missing a big guy it's missing a big guy so let's get astro train out of the way let's see more of jetfire here what you can do, you can have him be Decepticon, you can flip around the logo. So he's a Decepticon. Now, I wasn't convinced of his villainous ways and his switch of allegiance in Siege. I, I don't know, I thought it was better. They should just keep him an Autobot. He works better solely as an Autobot. The whole flipping thing is there from the beginning, from the original comics and the original cartoon. So I can see why they put it in there in the Siege cartoon. But more of not, hate it's Jetfire Skyfire is a good guy, all in all flicking back to be an Autobot. That seemed like what they did with the um, Generations version of Dinobot. We could flick him between Predacon and Maximal. And there's quite a few features on old Jetfire here. You get him out of stuff. You can peg things here so the extra weapons peg on there. You can flip them back round. One thing I do like with his hand articulation, so that gets, it keeps popping out, is when you pull out his hand, the uh, hole to hold the guns sort of moves, moves out. And I think that's actually quite a nice added detail they did there with uh, Skyfire so, um, so I, I will keep doing that I'm so sorry I didn't know him as Skyfire in my head with Jetfire here but like I said he is a big toy so we've seen him with leader class Astro Train let's get him with his original Revolutions box set oh, I did sell the Generations one a long time ago the Classics one even so this is a big toy this is a big box and I believe this one stands bigger than Grimlock and Slag. Yeah, so he's a bit bigger than them. And I was happy that he was bigger than these guys, because, you yeah, know, Jetfire Skyfire is bigger than Dinobots. But he doesn't mean he's muscle. But now that I've got these two together, this kind of does work. And I will be saying goodbye to this uh, trooper of uh, Jetfire Skyfire. It's a shame because I do like it, I do like this figure. But this big old boy at the back, who he stands taller than the Combiner Wars combiners, uh, that wasn't one of the issues I had originally. There we go. It's just one of those things. So, yeah. Goodbye to this Jetfire. Put him to the side. Let's put him with Starscream, his buddy. Now, so that's the one thing that bothered me in the show, even the original. Because he was scaled up so big, you couldn't really have. Jetfire and Starscream have a bit of fisticuffs go toe to toe always have to be in the air battling in the air I know they're both jets and planes and whatnot. if he was I don't know maybe a little bit bigger say Dinobot size let's bit slag out again it wouldn't have been as bad if Starscream was fighting Jetfire it just seems very off he's, his best buddy is this giant guy that he'd never mentioned in the past it's like hey were you a bad guy yeah, yeah I was a bad guy when he met so yeah, it's, I don't know, I just, I didn't want him being the leader of the Seekers. That's Starscream's role from Siege. It should have belonged to Starscream and Jetfire. For me, it should have been the Autobots one plane dude. That's by the by, what happened has happened and what they did is what they did. So yeah, Starscream compared with Jetfire there. Now let's get the other two Commander class figures now. What I have done, because this was more of a, spontaneous pickup I actually have packaged away Rodimus Prime trailer so this is Rodimus he's the latest commander class figure and then we've got Skylinks who I'll to move him to the side there uh, and as you can see obviously I think the yeah, Rodimus' trailer is about as long as say Skylinks here but when you think of it he I don't know I still think he isn't worth the price point these two 
are a little bit more worth the price point. The trailer didn't need to be as big as it was. But there they all are in their robot modes. Best of it can. Sorry, Spanix is my head is really in the way here. Out of all of them, it is Jetfire that gets the height. I think he's even longer than Skylynx as well when he's in sort of jet mode. And much with, say, with Series 1 and 2, Astro Train is meant to be the opposite of, say, him being a troop carrier, even though he is written out quite early on. And he's meant to be one of the opposites of, say, Skylynx in regards to a troop carrier. But Skylynx is enormous compared to poor little Astro Train here. So it's one of the things, it's kind of a bugbear, a bit of a bugbear for the original series, but there we go. Let's scale away the other commander classes. Yes. There is a third party like Blade Weapon. Don't know why they gave him a Blade Weapon. He, like the, all the others got guns. That's why he was, it's a bit odd that he was a leader of the Seekers in the Siege. But it's, it's just like I said, it's just one of those things. They wanted to try something different with him. So they did and they, you know, they did what they did. Uh, so let's get him in jet mode. And here we have Jetfire in his spaceship mode. Now, this is a full on figure. You can clip everything together on this figure and it which i love i love that you can do that so everything's stored away on him if you wish to obviously this is the armor section which can be pulled off as a separate like uh, you can play with it as a, like a, a gun drone for him or a gun platform for him and it's all clipped on there the helmet goes inside here which i didn't show earlier you can see the helmet clipped in there you can move these up says so him in more of his standard civilian mode if you wish but the Jetfire's mode is completely made up so it works perfectly in the Siege line unlike they didn't do Siege Jazz Bumblebee Trailbreaker but alas we won't cry and complain too much about that and Wheeljack so here he is looking absolutely huge and really fitting the role of the Commander class let's put him with Skylynx who's as big not as long as Jetfire here Got two components, Skylynx. Skylynx should be like, much bigger than Jetfire. It is nice to see them both together, these big, huge Commander class figures. I didn't transform one of us, because I still left the trailer upstairs out of the way. Let's get him out of the way as well. And one cool feature, which you can do with Jetfire, is you can get smaller figures, well actually any old figures really, and just like in the TV show, you can have them hang off of him when he's flying into battle. That was a really nice feature because sometimes he'd be depicted with them coming out of him other times they'd be you know like the right size and be hanging on to the sides as he's flying in to drop them off to battle the Decepticons but it's one thing it's quite a cool feature they added in there so you've got one two you know, three three four of those on there and you obviously you can pull out the undercarriage as well but he is a beast of a figure he's nice and big and again you can sort of switch around to baddie mode as well if you wish but one cool thing, they are doing the shattered glass version of Jetfire. So if you want a baddie, a baddie version of Jetfire, you can get that one. So I'm sure that feature's still there. I can't see why they'd remove that, because it's just something fun to add in there. But what do you think? I know it's, what, three years late in doing this one. But don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.